World War II was a two-front war. While in the European theater, the air threat had been overpowered, the Navy was still fighting another enemy, Germany's lethal wolf pack. Off the coast of North Carolina was called Torpedo Alley and was one of the graveyards of the Atlantic Ocean where Germany's U-boat fleet lurked. I was commissioned when I was 19 flying Corsairs and shortly after commissioning on the way to my first squadron, I volunteered for a group. We went out on the boxer uh, looking for German submarines uh, on dawn patrol. And the idea is to try to catch a German submarine just at break dawn when he's still running on the surface before he submerges for the day and hides. And we're totally alone there and I'm, I'm chasing a, a TBM torpedo bomber. And I've, I'm in a Corsair, six 50 caliber machine guns. He's got three depth charges. I, I see the silhouette, German submarine going left to right. And I say, tally ho, submarine, one o'clock. He says, I got him, but I can't, I can't open my Bombay doors. And I, I look at the submarine and he's already shooting at us from a deck gun. So I, I cut loose of my 650 calibers in, into this German submarine. And fireworks, the skies, and everything's full of tracers. But I, it, it was so powerful when those 650 calibers hit that gun, it blew the gun and the four men gun crew right off the deck. And, and, and I, there were still two German guys standing in a conning tower watching me shoot, shoot their gun off. So I kicked a little, ticked a little rudder and took them out too. So I got the four gunners and two guys in the conning tower. I went, I went over, over the submarine and uh, then I did a hard 5G turn uh, to catch him because he was going to, he was submerging. So I knew he, he wasn't when I hit him. He was running on the surface, but I knew he'd be diving right away. So I, I, I took him head on with the second run and he was submerged except for his snorkel tube, which is a, about a four foot diameter thing, which includes his the snorkel, air breathing thing, periscope, his radio, his radar, everything. And I had made one more run on him head on and I cut off his snorkel tube, the top 10 feet of it with, with, with my 650s. So he was out of business. The world was over for him. <laughs> 